I'm a fat pig. What did you just call me? I'm starving. I am so full. I'm gonna vomit. I can't fit. I'm nauseous. What are you gonna order? Can I get a side of mayo? I'm sweating. Do you hear my breathing? I cannot stop eating chips. This is not an extra large. Do I look fat? Welcome to Fat Pig. I'm Frank Liotti. And I'm hopeless. Hopeless. Hopeless in Seattle. Hopeless in the cattle of the fields. It's so easy to write a musical. Give me another name. I'm Frank Liotti. And I'm Jennifer. Jennifer, flaxen and blonde. Flax? Long legs, thin and... Flaxseed. Does flaxseed actually work? It empties you out like a Ford Bronco's gas tank after a trip to the desert. That's amazing. You know what? I gargled with it the other day. With flaxseed? No liquid, just flaxseed. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Joe, are you okay? <laughs> Come on. I'm just fucking with you. <coughs> Did Uncle Joe die of lung cancer? Stroke. Really? Mm-hmm. Whenever I hear the word stroke, I think of like... <laughs> like the swimming stars of the 40s. Whenever I think of stroke, I think of five... Billy fam- Squire? I think of five family members I have that are going through stuff. That have it. the Rocky Horror Picture Show poster list? No. That have had strokes, you insensitive con. I... <laughs> Ow, ow, I just did a sinus laugh and it hurt. I scraped the inside of my nose. I am so grateful I don't have a pig laugh because I'm heavy. Have I ever told you that? Like if I was like... <laughs> like that I'm so be... grateful I have a pig hole waiting for me when I get home. What? Oh, forget about it. That's my shit and I should have hung it at the door. We always get you loopy. To, I told you I watched two f- pig. Well, obviously two pigs. I watched pigs fucking at Turtleback Zoo in West Orange, New Jersey. That's disgusting. It is. Like I, that I show didn't Black plan Mirror. it. I was with children too. Like that show Black Mirror. And I walked by and I saw one pig mounting another one, and I was like, "Oh, okay. Like this may be hot. Believe it or not, just How watching old were you? any animal nine a year ago, <laughs> and the pig had a screw." Oh, you told Dick. me its penis was like a screw shape. Yeah, like how you open a wine bottle. See, but here's the thing. I want to be a little sensitive to it because I love animals. To them, like our penis looks disgusting. Just because their penis is a corkscrew and ours is like a ramrod, it doesn't mean that one shape a is ram right. A ramrod? Yeah. It doesn't mean that one shape is right and one is wrong. Yeah, but do you think if you were naked in front of a pig, that pig would think... Oh, God, that penis is disgusting. No, I would think it were a different kind of love story. No, I would I think you would want to eat it. Pig. What? I'd think the pig would want to eat your penis. Oh, I thought you meant I'd want to have pork tacos. Every time we haven't been in the studio together for a long time, we get so loopy in the beginning. It's like four-year-olds that were like separated in a death camp, and then they finally get an hour. A death camp. A death camp. Guess What? What? I'm loopy because it's raining and I haven't napped. So Ooh. I feel like someone hit me over the head with a fucking frying pan. Really? I'm loopy just because I'm happy to see you. But that's all right. That's okay. You're happy? I'm happy to see you. No, I was about 40 seconds ago. You, let's get into our first fight on the recording. <laughs> recording. Let's get into a little... Oh. oh, Frank just put his head back and the headphones fell off. Because I lost so much weight, in my your, skull In your shrunk. head. Because I lost so much weight, my skull shrunk. Is that a new hat? Alex is terrified that these broke. They're fine. It is. So for those of you who can't see, for the blind listeners, I'm wearing a new hat. And it says pig on it. It has a pig sewn on it. Very cute. Where'd you get it? Online. It's from a brand designer brand called Gorin Brothers. G-O-O-R-I-N-B-R-O-S dot. But you can't get the pig hat anymore because it's discontinued. And I got it because our podcast is called Fat Pig. Okay. As you're talking about the hat, I'm thinking about everyone that lost their homes in Houston. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As you're talking about everyone that lost their homes in Houston, I'm thinking about the ribs that I had there two years ago that were out of this world. Well, there aren't going to be any ribs. There's just going to be paddles. It's horrific. Frank's trying not to laugh. Paddles? Well, 
I don't, I can't believe what's going on. I can't even. I just. I said to you before we started this. I have to bring this up because it's so crazy what's going on. It's what's horrible. Happening in Houston. Yeah, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people that. <sighs> wait, wait. Let me just finish. There's thousands of people who lost everything. I wasn't going to interrupt you. I don't even like to think about what I saw on the news. It was horrific. With babies and animals. Animals, oh, animals, you, animals. I know you care more, which I understand. A lot of people do, but I, I, I know the animals was a lot, but that doesn't phase because me as much as it does. Because the babies will get, there are no fatalities with no, babies. The babies will get rescued. Well, the animals Frank, won't. you don't know. That's not true. A lot of babies and old people might not get rescued. They're waiting in old their houses. Old people have had their day in the sun. The babies will take top priority. Like everybody, that's not true. Some yes. people can't get help. They don't have electron. They don't have anything to tell people they're they're stranded. I'm not kidding. Um, I care much more about people than I do about dogs and cats. Sorry, I love animals, but mm-hmm. I care that there's people stranded. Honestly, it's horrible. I can't say that I care about one more than the other. I can't because I love them so much. But I did. But I'm not a vegetarian, so I feel like a total hypocrite. So you can't right. So, yeah, you care that animals aren't being rescued, but you had ribs in Houston two, two years ago. That was years ago. That when was, was the last like time you had red meat? I can't even remember. It's, Frank? I can't remember. What did you have today and yesterday? Pizza. <laughs> I had pizza. I ordered a pizza on Sunday because it was going to be the last day before I went back on my diet. Why did you? <laughs> and there's tons of it left over. Every time I open the refrigerator, another fucking triangle of pizza is there. Every time. Like, it's, it's huge. This pie could have... Where is it coming from? The refrigerator. But the refrigerator shops or orders it in? <laughs> the refrigerator, like, makes its own. It's like magic refrigerator. I it's want like that demon fucking refrigerator. refrigerator. You can get it cold, Sicilian, pepperoni. How sick would that be if you were like, refrigerator, make me a big <laughs> That ZD. would be amazing. Can you imagine? The magic refrigerator. If you could have your refrigerator make anything for you right now, what would it be? Peanut butter and chocolate Baskin Robbins. Really? Or but a Big I mean, Mac, like, a Big Mac with me. special sauce. No, like a homemade meal. I get it, but uh, like a homemade meal. But I like fast food. All right, if I could have it make anything, it has to be homemade. Like I'd rather yeah, have like fast a meal. food. Like I'm back in the throes of addiction. No, again. I mean I know we're going to talk about that in a minute. But right, I mean me like a roast. A because I would have it make a big ZD with ricotta inside and mozzarella all I over it. I had that recently. I ordered it and it was sick. It's sick. I had it from the pizza place. It's my favorite it thing. It was better from Anna Maria's in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, than the restaurant I went to where a priest and mafia people were outside. Yeah. I have to post some of the pictures from this restaurant in Brooklyn that I went to. Somebody email us at heyfatpig at hop, G, uh, hop whatever it is, ja, 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 at uh, gmail.com. Are you okay? I'm fine. Everything is fine. I have to call my mother. I mean my father. I mean my sister. I mean my best friend. Oh, I thought they were all gone. They are. Anyway, so what was the restaurant? I can't mention some like all vowels and an exclamation point, like some angry Italian name like mine. But it's very old school Italian. Like it has such a mob mafia, which doesn't exist anymore, feel to it. But everybody knows each other. Everyone's walking from table to table. And I took pictures like on the sneak. And I have to put them up on Fat Pig's Instagram. Yeah. Like the two or three I took. They were like, these, they look like so mafia. They look like they stepped out of the early 70s with a priest outside. But the big ziti I got wasn't good. It's better at the pizza place where it was yeah. seven bucks. So what would I have my refrigerator make me? I, I'll, go, I'll get back to that. I'll answer you. I'll get back to you on that. In like a half hour? Yeah. Like I can't decide. Okay. Because right now I'm, so, you know. All right. Well, let's talk about food. So I want to just think really quick. Um, I started eating um, rice cakes and quinoa chips and all of that again because I'm lying to myself and telling myself it's okay. Mm-hmm. Now, it, it sounds, I know it sounds ridiculous to people like, so what? You're eating rice cakes. Okay, I put butter on it. I put American cheese. Oh my God, I haven't even been here since what happened. You look crazy thin, by the no, way. I'm not thin, but thank you but so you much. Do. You look great. You really, thank you, you me. don't have to say that. You really do. Okay, you look horrible, actually. Well, that's what I told you I wanted to talk about today. Yeah. It's well, not vanity, as a matter of fact. When we were talking on the phone, Jessica called me when I was on my way here, and I was walking from point A to point B. And I lost my breath. I couldn't talk to her on the phone. And I haven't lost my breath like that since I went on that diet. 
So for those of you that have been listening, I lost 40 pounds from mid-February to the 4th of July. The 4th of July, I went to Maine, and I fell off the wagon, and I relapsed because I was on vacation. Quote, because I was on vacation, unquote. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, oh, it's okay. That said, it has been a slow but steady decline into the throes of food addiction for the last two months. I've been saying for the last month, but it was the 4th of July. It's going to be too much. But you didn't gain a lot of weight. I can't get back on the scale, I'm afraid. I must have. I can't breathe anymore. It's it's bad. My clothes aren't fitting right. Right. You know, I'm pulling it's at my worst. shirts big time. It's, yeah. I'm afraid to get on the scale. I'm so mm-hmm. afraid. Because if I see that I gained back 25 pounds out of the you 40. You did not gain 25 pounds. Maybe 23. But you did not gain 25 pounds. <laughs> you know what? That's not funny. Not you didn't. I'm, you really didn't. Can you I imagine mean, I got sensitive like 21. that? Maybe 21. Well, if you did, I wouldn't be friends with you. I can't do that anymore at my age. What? People that flip out over the dumbest things. No. Yeah, I know. I can't I do it. it. I get it. I get it. But um, I talked about it in therapy on Monday, which I never really do. I used to with my last therapist, Valerie, the one with like the north, south, east, and west boobs. Like they were seriously <laughs> zigzags. They were so far apart. <laughs> <laughs> compass boobs. Compass boobs. You got some compass tits. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I need so some bar. So, uh, well, yeah, go uh, ahead. Go ahead. I, I did that character online the other day, and mm-hmm. someone commented, and it was not nothing racist, but I did the character, and mm-hmm. someone wrote, "Do you even have any black friends?" And I wrote seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> I count. I did a list of cocktail recipes for a new restaurant opening in Brooklyn. And it's supposed to be like a loose Asian hipster flair. And I named one of them the Pai Mei Old Fashioned. Pai Mei is the guru who teaches them Black Hawk Kung Fu in Kill Bill. And someone was offended. Oh, God help me. So I had to I change can't. the name. Someone was offended to by the, the name. To the African American? The Pai Mei yeah. Old Fashioned. Yeah. They were offended. Well, I want to get back to your um, stuff. I get yeah. it. So I, I get told it. Susan about it, the new therapist. Valerie would always kind of brush it off. Mm-hmm. It was so weird. And then Susan the other day well, said... Well, Valerie was heavy, wasn't she? No. Oh. She wasn't, but it, I saw a picture of her on Facebook when it recommended I be friends with people. <laughs> it's as if... Now, I want you, if you're listening, to do this. Take your iPhone or whatever phone you have. If you can't afford an iPhone, pretend to hold a rectangle in your hand. Hold it up to your face. <laughs> like, hold it about six inches away from your face and look at the screen and imagine taking a picture of yourself, like when you just literally woke up 10 seconds before. That's what Valerie's picture on Facebook. She looked like a homeless woman. Yeah. And I looked at that picture. I'm like, she's my therapist. Yeah. Yeah. The last one. I know. It's yeah. It's so insane. Yeah. She has cutting marks and all she, kinds seriously, of stuff. Seriously, she told me about the time she saw a bear in the woods and she mm-hmm. knew exactly what to do. And it was her mother. She's <laughs> it was actually my ex from Philadelphia. Um, wait, wait. Jessica, help me. What was I talking about? You're f- being fat. Susan said, I was, she said, you know, I was like, I'm have, eating this and I'm having that and it's out of control. And she said, you don't feel fed. Mm. You're not being fed. Mm-hmm. And like now that I say it, it reminds me of like letting the dog in from the backyard and putting a bowl on the floor, but mm-hmm. it's not. It really like hit a nerve when she said it and I kind of lost my mind because it has nothing to do with eating. Even that famous expression, eating to numb, doesn't fit. It's not being fed. For whatever reason, that was so powerful to me. And I thought about a poster I saw in the subway Mm -hmm. of like a play that's being done that I did twice years ago when I was at Yale. It's like not being fed when I see a friend of mine on TV or it's so insane so you think business i'm I'm asking you for a reason do you think that success would feed that hole it like does. that to me it does yeah for me, everyone's does. different you've said to me that it, it doesn't. doesn't at all you've said that it doesn't no but matter to what me, it doesn't when my fa- this this for me this eating you and i have different backgrounds of course, everyone it. does for me this hasn't been a lifelong thing because i was always a gym rat for right. my entire adult life until oh my god what's today September 2nd, 2012 is the day my sister died. Mm -hmm. That was the fourth death in a row after my mother, my father, and my best friend of 30 years. So this is the anniversary this week, which always gets loopy. For those of you who have lost major people in your lives, it's the weirdest thing. Sometimes I'll even forget. I'll totally forget about it. Mm -hmm. But I am in a 
place. Like I am in heightened emotion, almost like something is off, almost yeah. like I have a, a pimple or a boil that's at a head. I so get it. Um, mm -hmm. Even when I don't even realize it. And I was in therapy this week, so I talked about it. And I remembered that it's the anniversary of my sister's death. And that's when I stopped going to the gym. And honestly, that's when eating got out of control. That's when it really got bad. And um, for some reason, when everybody was alive, I wasn't as starving. I so get it more than you know, just because of stuff in my life that, you know, especially anniversaries of things, mm -hmm. like just with ex relationships and different things. Like I, I get very moody or emotional. I'm like, Oh, it's that time of the year, you know, this, this happened or whatever. Um, but being the being fed thing I, I, for me, like when I do self care stuff, like the gym, and f like filling it with that kind of stuff, like positive, you know what I mean? I, I don't eat as much at all mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm feeding it with, with good things. Okay. And I want to, now I want to like go off of what you're saying. I want to reiterate something that you're talking about because somebody recommended this book to me by Augustine Burroughs, the guy who wrote running with scissors that they made a crappy movie out of. And he also wrote like a sort of sequel to that called dry. I don't have it in my bag. Anyway, he has a relatively new-ish book that kind that was recommended to me because it kind of mocks self-help stuff. In other words, he's saying, don't look in the mirror and say, I feel great and today is going to be wonderful if you feel like shit. He's making fun of it. The affirmations, if they're not true for you, he's talking about being true to how you feel. And what Jessica is saying is, isn't some kind of like positive thinking mm -mm. namby pants kind of thing it's a it's tangible action. exactly it's mm -hmm. a tangible real action that one can take and i say this as somebody who did take action relatively recently and it changed my whole i, I can go back and listen to the podcast mm -hmm. it changed my whole outlook it changed my whole mood it's, you know, those, for those of you who are listening, most of you know that I'm on something. I'm on, uh, what do you call it? As SSRI, mm -hmm. is, what, Lexapro, and it does help. But when I'm doing my part of it, it's almost like an agent actor relationship. The agent gets 10%. Yeah. The actor gets 90. That's like the Lexapro does 10% of the work, but I do 90% of it, which is going to the gym and mm -hmm. taking care of myself, not diet. Diet's a bad word. Taking care of myself. In other words, having a berry smoothie to lower my blood pressure mm -hmm. or to watch my sugar. It just changes the mood and the outlook, and it, it feels so good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the not being fed thing, it's, 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 a, it's, it's like in Marvin's room, she says to him, my, Meryl Streep says to her son, Leonardo DiCaprio, I've said this before on this podcast, my feelings for you are like fish hooks. I go to pick one up, and they all come tumbling out. Never said that. I have. You just you're not present a lot of the time. So it's kind of well. Like, I it's a lot to listen to. It's a lot. I have so much snot in my skull right it's now. Okay, just keep talking. It won't come out. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh my god, that's the I sound so... that usually is my cue to go masturbate in the bathroom. <laughs> I get. I get it. From a, I'm being honest with you. From when I was a child, I really felt that way of That's not being difference. fed. No, I, I really get totally it. Totally, you didn't, thought of that with yeah. you versus with me. Yeah, I went to food to be fed. Right. That I was not getting attention, right. love, what I needed, and mm -hmm. I would literally stand or sit in front of the fridge and right. feed myself because yep. I felt empty. So I get it more than you think I do. No, I know. That's yeah. exactly what I thought. Yeah. Like I've seen pictures of you as a little girl and I know your story. Mm -hmm. And although my mom worked nights and whatnot and my father, they were always at work. You know, no, I can't fault them, but they truly were always at work. Mm -hmm. When they were present, they tried hard to be vociferous about how they felt about me. They really did. So I heard, I love you. Mm -hmm. And I was fed. And I, as a matter of fact, I remember not wanting to finish all the time. And they would say, one more bite, one more bite, yeah, one more bite. Yeah, so Italian. Right. And 
now it's the not feeling fed bleeds into so many aspects of life. I get it. Life. I really do. It's not just, it has nothing to do with food. Even though I love food so much, it has nothing to do with food, not being fed. Right. Nothing. So it's all about taking action, whether it's with your career, with working out, with eating. I mean, I, I, I'm telling you, I, I, I struggle with it every single day. I don't want to. I know. <sighs> I get it. It's so, I want it to just be handed to me. I want to just eat Baskin Robbins, oh. two for nine ninety five yep. quarts. Two quarts for nine ninety five. I, <clears throat> I get what you're saying completely, and I, I, I just want to say... Um, I hear you, and you know it, it's just important to say it, and it's good that you talked about it, and you're dealing with it. Yeah, you don't have to. I always give you credit. I admire you. I'm so proud of you for going to therapy. I'm serious. So many people don't do the I work. I know. I have a lot of friends they, like that. Yeah, they don't go. They don't talk to someone. You know, anyone who makes an effort, I will have compassion for. Some people shut it down immediately when it's even brought up. I know, but I can't deal with the people that complain about the same things for years and years and years oh, that, and don't yeah. at least go yeah. for help and, right. or do something right. to take care of yourself. It's like, okay, go just talk to someone, even if nothing changes. Like, take some kind of action and then I'll listen to you. Okay, well, here's the, first of all, here's two different things. First of all, the former thing that I said, as far as like some people like with Mateo, when Mateo was on the podcast, he was like, why are you talking about that? Like, he, there are some people that cannot talk about it, mm -hmm. anything vulnerable. My sister was what you just said, complaining and complaining and complaining. The thing is, when you throw some stuff on the countertop in your kitchen, and then you throw some more stuff, and then eventually it moves into the dining room, and then eventually it moves into the living room, and eventually your house is covered in piles of shit, piles of stuff. All that's going to do is contribute to why you threw it there in the first place and magnify mm -hmm. whatever you're feeling and going through. And with my sister, it eventually, when my sister had breast cancer, she had it 20 years prior or so and then stopped going for mammograms. And that was like the first pile in the kitchen when she stopped going for mammograms. And she would just complain and complain. And then that mm -hmm. complaining became about other people. It became about other people's possessions and lives and the jealousy and the envy and the mess and the complaining, it's not taking care of yourself and just putting it in the to-do pile. And then it became about her own health and she just avoided it and ignored it and then she died. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, my point is it's exactly, it's ex exactly like what we're talking about. It's taking care of yourself. And it's like, I feel like I don't want to. I just want to watch TV. Mm -hmm. I want to find a new show because I finished Big Little Lies. I just want to eat more Baskin Robbins, but I got to like get off. I have to catch this now, like I said to you before, before mm -hmm. the snowball becomes mountainous. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, you do. Not necessarily just, it, it's not like vanity's sake, even though in part it is because I am vain, but it's health. Yeah, it is health. health. And sp speaking of health, I, a lot of people have asked me, but I wanted to tell, I wanted to talk about it on the podcast. I was on a cruise ship um, a couple of weeks ago. I was performing in Alaska on a cruise ship for thousands of gay men. It's the best audience there is for you. Yeah, for mm -hmm. no, I'm saying for me. I know right. not for everyone. Trust right. me, because um, not everyone knows this, but they're not the same for gay male comics as they are for female comics. I mean, we've talked about it, right. but it's definitely not the same. Right. But anyway, so I um, did one show. It was amazing. I had horrible stomach pains. I think we talked about when I was in Montreal. I did a podcast with you, and I had the same kind of stomach pains, for a but long it went away. Time. Right. Off and on. Right. right. He, Frank knows that. And hardly anyone knows that. Mm -hmm. But I had this weird stomach pain for years. And I would feel like, remember, I would feel like I had like a little stomach virus and then it would go away. Mm -hmm. Like every six months or something. I remember and, the one time I had to drive home from a gig. Remember that? Oh, my. That was bad. Where you were going to go Frank, to emergency. I didn't realize that until you just said that, mm -hmm. that that was a time Has that it went. connected. Yeah. Like you're in it was agony. the same spot. Nothing right. was helping, whether it was a. Uh, Pepsi oh, or it was bad. Pepto or I was gas crying. We thought it was like a gas bubble. Or... It was horrible. Yeah, I remember Frank, that. by the way, I want to say this on on the air. Frank is so amazing when times of like 
you know, trauma or I'm in pain or I need something. He's such a good friend. Thank you. I want to tell you, you are such an amazing friend. Thank I'm not you. telling you, telling them what you did last week. <laughs> what I do last week? What I do last week? No, he helped me with something with my license, oh, oh. but I'm not getting into that. But he's an amazing, amazing friend and always there for me. And I, I'm going to say that to the 11 people listening. Thank you. So I bought a nail I, brush yesterday. Really? Mm-hmm. My my mother needs to hug me. So I um, so I was on the ship. I did really well. It was that night. I went to my room in the middle of the night, and I'm like, oh no. Like that stomach pain came mm-hmm. and it was on the right under my breasts on the right side. To make a very long story short, I went to this ship hospital, which I know sounds like you just invented a word, ship hospital. Yeah. Ship Frank hosp- would I'm so tired because I only slept fourteen hours. <laughs> so Frank will get this because he knows this about me. For me to go down to the ship hospital means that like I am feel like I'm dying. And I, I know he's had this, but I never have. I know you've gone through this where your body's telling you something's wrong. I've never had that experience. Meaning something's really wrong. It's like something's really, going on. Like, you know when people say if it's broken, you'll know it's broken. Right, like, like your with ribs. broken ribs. Yeah. Your I, body is screaming. Never it's happened crazy. to me in my life. Right. And, and I sat the there. The only other time I felt that was when I was pregnant. So... You went to well, the that's because it came out of your ass. Mm-hmm. That's a whole nother story. We'll get into that soon. I miss that rabbit. <laughs> go ahead. So go ahead. Go so, on. So I went down to the and it was this. They weren't taking me right away, and I was in horrific, horrific pain. What are they doing on a ship hospital that they, they weren't were taking you around. right away? I have to be honest with you. There was no one there. It was very upsetting. Right. I'm serious. I was really in pain. Like I couldn't stand. I couldn't sit. I needed to be on drugs immediately. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's how bad it was. I was like, you got to put, even for me to have the fear of getting God, an IV put, put in, in ass, I was right. freaking out. Mm-hmm. I just wanted a bat in my ass. So have you ever seen, there's a porn with someone that gets a bat in their ass. I have seen hot. porns with literally like, I have seen porns with like someone getting Alex a Toyota Corolla he knows what up I'm their trying. ass. Yeah. I have seen everything go up a man's ass. Belladonna, Google it, taught. Like I've Alex, seen like a yeah. pal- Palomino horse go up someone's ass. Yeah. Head first. Yeah. I've seen my Aunt Sheila go up someone's ass mm-hmm. and that was frightening. <laughs> Never saw Yom her again. Kippur. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> poor Aunt Sheila. I always flyers, use her name. Those flyers all over Short Hills. Have you seen Aunt Sheila? Last seen, last seen at the sphincter. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah. Isn't that gross? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> suck so. it. Come on, suck it. No, it's too hard. Suck it. Open up that road, bud. No. Suck it. Okay. Don't oh, come on your ugly little fate. What? No. What'd you say, motherfucker? <laughs> that squeak is the best. So, um, that squeak I went down- is like a, I know. It's like a, <laughs> <laughs> <that's> crazy. <laughs> it's like when Coco gave birth. The cat we had when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> like we all knew who Coco was. I'm so hungry. Where are we gonna go after this? I don't know. I was thinking maybe like McDonald's or Burger King or something. No. Why? No. Why? I'll start tomorrow. No. I'll start tomorrow. Can so, you finish the story and tell them about when you had reconstructive surgery on the cruise line? <laughs> they put me on IV. I mean, eventually, and put me on morphine, whatever. It doesn't matter. Took tests, blood tests, two kinds of antibiotics. My liver count was, I don't know, I'm making numbers up. It was supposed to be 80. It was 1,100. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. Gave them a number to call. They called. They were like, she has starting to get jaundice. Um, she's First of all, wait okay. a minute. I want to interrupt you a second because the enzymes in my liver are always high. And then when you went finally, you were like, something in my liver is high too. That was where it was really And bad. that's what... It was. Do men have gallbladders? Yes. They do? <laughs> Is it next to the my clitoris? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Yes, you do. It's under your... <laughs> but you don't have a prostrate. Prostate. What's prostrate? Prostrate? I do have a prostate. That's why I've always felt different. It's like a um, G-spot for a man. Oh, it's like a, like a G-spot. It's like a uh, 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 G-spot. It's in my throat. <laughs> no, no, it's like. Hold on, let me rub it. It's, oh. it for some people, oh. it's in uh, the the under the arm to the left. What? It's next to the breastbone. The prostate. The G spot. The pro. No, your Most prostate ketchup. is in the back of the neck. Sauerkraut. <laughs> Buick. Half a bun. <laughs> half a button. Bun. Half a bun. Mm-hmm. You want half a bun? Can I get half a bun gluten Bo-bo? free? <laughs> Can I get gluten free? Can I get a gluten free? Can I get a gluten free a sub with lettuce? Gluten free? 
Le, no, Glue Free is le, my uh, oldest uh, daughter. Uh, uh, Glue Free uh, is uh, my uh, oldest daughter who is in the military and she's lesbian. Oh. And Glue Free got married you to a, a white woman. Mm -hmm. I accept her, but she knows that the Lord does not accept her. So she's going to die? So she's going to die young. Mm -hmm. And Glue Free. Because she a sinner? She lives in sin. She a nasty, nasty. Her name is licker. Glue. <laughs> mm -hmm, she's a clit licker. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, she a clinic. Picker. All right, so I go. <laughs> this is the longest story I've ever I told. I can't even say this that. This is longer loud. than my bat mitzvah. Clit her. Clit so, her. Yo, you want a clinic? <laughs> so. Is that a thing? Like, can you pay for it with an escort? I don't know. Clit licking. Hello, I'd like an escort, but I only want my clit licked. Yeah, it's like when you have your eyebrows waxed or mustache or collarbone oh, or whatever right, it is. Like, you right. have to be service is different. Wax. Yo, I want my collarbone waxed. Can you imagine? You I got a long hair. It was natural to grow hair along the collarbone <laughs> for women. so gross. Like in the V shape. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. God. People would love that, the Michigan Women's Festival. So tell us about your sexual reassignment surgery. Again. So, no, I have a cock. So I was taken by ambulance. If you had a cock, we'd get married. I think so, too. I think so. I'd make but you But you leave. don't have a vagina. I'll get one. Okay. Like a temporary one. All right. So I get off in this tiny island in Alaska on a, <laughs> in an ambulance, and all the gay men are standing on the side of the ship like, <gasps> oh, what please, happened? Don't die, don't oh, my die. God, they're all holding their faces. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm like, it's my gallbladder. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm like screaming from the ambulance. <laughs> this ambulance had no lights and like one tire. <laughs> and they take me up the a Fred mountain. Cry I'm not when they kidding. use their feet to drive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating from laughing now. Like the whole outer body is covered in a thin film of sweat. <laughs> so I'm in that car with a dinosaur pulling us, and then we get to this little <laughs> hospital in the mountain. And I get to the emergency room, which is three beds. <laughs> the doctor looks like she's homeless. She's not a doctor. She's a physician's assistant. She's like, she's no, a line cook. Problem. I'm like, I'm dying. Cunt. Get me. All right, some... Let me just flip this hamburger and I'll be yeah, right with you. Yeah. She works in the cafeteria in the emergency <laughs> she room. She cleaned out my, ba my waste Asshole. paper basket the next day. <laughs> waste paper. What? Sometimes I sound like I'm 90. My waste paper basket. <laughs> Who says that? It, the doctor came uh, up it, uh, it, he with a brochure. If you were there, I would have been... What was the brochure? About gallbladders. They realized... <laughs> and he shows me, and like he sells them. Like People from cruises get off the ship mm -hmm. all the time and have to have this surgery. Think about it. Thousands of people go there every day on cruise ships. Okay. So they come off to this hospital because they need surgery. It happens for, all the time. For something. It's, right. But I would assume that gallbladder is very common. Okay. So... He says you need you need surgery. So of course I'm Jewish, and I'm like you got to talk to my cousin Bernie Lehrhoff. Mm -hmm. he, he's my cousin is a huge doctor. I'm right, like you got, I'm not having someone just. Mm -hmm. Well, so it's also I, in the least populated state in America, oh, it's going to a hospital there is yeah, frightening. There was like a caribou and an owl next to me. I mean, I'd rather go to Coney Island and uh, go on a Ferris wheel and call it a day with those rusty instruments. Ugh, I love Zeppelin's. I love Nathan's. I could just shove them in. That little Chinaman that wins that Chinaman, uh, that Oriental, that Oriental that shoves them in is that very shoves down. them in and doesn't even swallow. He you drinks a lot of water. See the outline on the throat as it mm. goes down, mm. like a cartoon. That's hot. The outline of the hot dog yeah. going down. Not the throat. a hot dog, but something. So um, I am disgusting. What do you mean? Don't let. I'll tell you after. So, so. <laughs> Bernie talks to him and then gets on the phone with me and he's like, Jessica, just have him do it. He's done thousands of them. He's like a, you know, army doctor or whatever. Mm -hmm. The guy, I'm hysterical crying. Now, Frank, again, is one of the only people that knows this. I don't cry a lot. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm heavy. Both of us don't. Right. So, yeah, right. We both yeah. don't. So for me to be sobbing, because I was petrified. But I'm a man. Right. So am I. Mm-hmm. He, he goes, let me just do a prayer with you. And I'm yeah, like, oh, no, no, this is this is going to take me over. This is going to make me die. And you said, ah. this... <laughs> in my mind, I'm like, please don't say Jesus or anything. Right. I just it was freaking me out even more. But it mm -hmm. was very sweet that he said that he grabbed my hands. He said a prayer. And I said and it was anyway, the point is, it was one of the Did biggest he say the prayer out loud. Yeah. God, please. He's <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Good. 
Please pull God, the sin please, from this woman. He called me that. Jennifer. That's not a joke. I, I swear on my life, God can kill me. He called mm-hmm. me Jennifer. He goes, please, please, Lord, take care of this woman, this fine woman. It's all going to be okay. Please protect Jennifer. I was like, okay, some Jennifer in this town is going to be okay, and I'm going to die. It was one of the biggest times in my life where I had to make a decision <laughs> to take action. Because he said you could be medevaced, and so did my cousin. He medevaced is the helicopter? To Seattle, yeah. Oh, because he's like, if you don't trust me, yeah. you can be medevaced Yeah, and I had a, I'm not kidding, and I really, really wanted to do it. Like, mm-hmm. I was like, I'm petrified right now. I don't know where I am. I had the operation, and I stayed there for three days, and uh, I'm just... Anyway, it's we're talking about taking action. I took action because I'm a fucking procrastinator. Bad. And I will say I have to I want to go to the gym. <clears throat> I have to do this, I have to do that, and I will wait until it's time when I have to, like literally have to do something. Do you something know how many times it. over the last 6 months I bought new gym clothes? I have a closet full really? of gym clothes in XXL, XL <laughs> and large. You have like a I could have a I could literally open a boutique in my bedroom for sporting goods I want to see you would look hot in exercise clothes what kind of exercise clothes do you get I try and get like I'll take like two M&M's and stick them on my nipples and mm. then a hot pocket and put it do in front of my penis you have them on you right now I'm wearing them right now it's green mm-hmm. yellow and in the navel orange that's fashion mm. fashion for the active male the active male well you got it out you got the gallbladder taken out. Right. Isn't a gallbladder like the size of a penny? It's like a tiny little thing. It's pretty. It's. I don't think it's that small. It's it pretty? Had a, it, no. Isn't maybe. a gallbladder the most beautiful little thing? My gallbladder is hot. <laughs> I have my gallbladder in a planter. It's really cute. I water it every day at this point. They put four holes in me mm-hmm. and um, fucked them. Me. The doctor fucked the holes in oh, my stomach. Four holes in me. Mm, every hole full. Every hole full. Front hole, back hole, side hole, other side, every hole full. Fill it up, fill it up. Super, super duper unleaded. Fill it up. Dig, 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 dig. <laughs> so when he fucked each hole, he did verses from the Bible. And I felt mm-hmm. blessed. Mm-hmm. So he took it out. But you know what it reminds me of, Frank? It's It was a sack. I know this sounds crazy. You saw it? No, but they take it out as a bag with the stones in it. Isn't that insane? It's like going to get gold and it comes in a little sack. Like when they pull out your gallbladder, they pull it out like a like a bag with stones in it. I had a ton of stones, he said. Wow. A ton. Oh, like a rock collection? No, I like a, I like a coral. Like mica? Mm. Pewter, mm. quartz, uh, uh, pewter. feldspar, mm. pewter. You have mm. pewter. I ain't got no. I ain't got no. Uh, you got no quartz. Gold. You got feldspar. Mm. You got gold. Food mm. gold. Pyrite. Mm. You got a rock collection. Mm. Mm. I got turquoise up the kazoo. I got some um diamond, black diamond, ruby, gem, jade. I gotta reach inside of you and get my wife a Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> my phone is blowing up so much right now. I feel like we're having a nuclear war. Why don't you turn it over? Because I feel like. Everyone's checking in to see if like we're okay. What do you mean? Because so many people are calling me right now as if a news item has happened. Oh, no. Really? No, I don't know. Is that just me being paranoid? I don't know. If I go on Twitter, I'll see and I want to kill someone. But I mean, listen, this is the thing. The point is, he said, I said, what do I need to think about? And he said, no, really high fat foods. And as you know, I don't eat a lot of high fat foods. And it's very common for women in their 40s to get their gallbladder out. My m- sister did. The point is, I ignored it. I should have I should have had tested. I should have been tested like a while ago mm-hmm. for what was going on in my stomach. That's the truth. I don't want to make jokes like because we're making jokes because it's a podcast and we want listeners. But the truth of the matter is, I cannot reiterate to people listening i cannot reiterate enough nobody likes going to the doctor but there is always a way there are so many places if you don't have the money there are so many places that you can still go to like if you especially if you're near a major city go to some lgbtqaaibclx go to fucking go to some gay center because they'll take anybody and a lot of them have doctors mm-hmm. that want to work there who are good but they want to be a part of something important mm-hmm. you know and give back to the community and to the world you can't ignore your health you're very good with that well after my sister died because she ignored mm-hmm. her health right 
You are. And my best friend lied down in traffic and killed herself because her family refused to acknowledge that she had a disease. She had schizophrenia. Like, I've seen what happens when people ignore their health. I can't. And they have no support system. I've seen it. It's not just like, you know, people can talk until they're blue in the face about stop eating fats, uh, stop eating bad food, stop smoking. But the truth of the matter is when you see the results, if we don't take care of it. Yeah. If that's, you know, it's like when people see someone die of lung cancer and still smoke. Someone can lead you to water, but they can't force you to drink. That kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, and it is hard sometimes. I want to give myself a little credit. It it did happen more. It didn't was not often at all that it happened. And it happened more when I was very stressed out or sad. My the stomach, stomach would I, my stomach would what be upset. What do you put so water I, when we go eat after this? Oh my God. If I have one more grilled chicken like salad with feta, I can't. I don't, I don't know. something with a pickle and ketchup. I had eggs this morning. Well, you want a you want a hamburger? I had pizza. No, I can't. I can't have red meat. I've been like lately. I saw this picture on Instagram of a cow wrapped around a young boy. They were both napping. What? Like a picture of not a sex thing. Like a cow was like resting its head on a kid. Like the kid's mm-hmm. pet was a cow. Like I can't have red meat anymore. I will never feel like warm and vulnerable and cuddly about a chicken. Where would we go? Well, I mean, what should we have? There's this place on First Avenue. Mick. 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 Nuggets? <laughs> Mc, I'm not going to go to McDonald's. I won't. I wouldn't even go to McDonald's if I were, if Wendy's was closed. Oh my God, you know what I could go for right now? What? Like you wouldn't even believe. What? Like mushroom barley soup from Katz's or something. Or <gasps> split pea soup. Do you want to go to yeah. that? Uh, I said that, yes uh, before you even mentioned the name. That's how much of a food addict I am. That Jewish, the last yes, one I couldn't taste, I said, like I can't taste yeah. right now. Not we Katz's. Can we can go to Katz's. Katz's oh, is actually Sarge's. close. So, Sarge's. No, not Veselka. There's no, we another went to Jewish, Sarge's, you and I. Is that what it's called? Yeah. But I think Katz's is better. Well, yeah. We can go to Katz. I would love soup. if uh, It's raining out and it's cold. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not cold, but it's like 60-something today. I can't believe I'm complaining it's raining when people are like... It's you're still <laughs> it's allowed to you're still allowed to feel. Can you imagine my shower wasn't hot enough this morning? <laughs> oh, there's people in boats all over. It's horrible. I, I only had grape jelly. I didn't have strawberry jelly left over today when I wanted to put it on my toast. Isn't it disgusting? What did you do? You eat jelly? No, I'm saying like, can you imagine complaining about grape jelly yes. versus strawberry jelly? Yes, when I can. So yep. can I. Yeah, because um, you forget. We have some letters. Oh, let's read them. Are they hot? They're in Braille, so I guess I have to read them. Hey, you have a cross around your neck, and I, I love it. There's a picture of a skull on it, though. It's not a cross. No, like, but I like it. If there's not a skull on a cross, it burns itself through my skin, so I have to have something on it like that. I'm so horny and hungry. I have been so horny. I have to do something about it. I'm getting a filling today, too. What should too. we do? Oh, I'm thinking about hiring an escort. Really? Yeah. I think so. No, um, I'll be riddled, riddled with lice if I hire an escort. I know it. Why? Because I just know my luck. Riddled with, like, seriously, I'll be riddled with disease. I'm not generalizing. The truth of the matter is, if you have a 2.30 and a 3 and a 3.30 and a 4 and a, you work from 9 to 7 as an escort, the chances of you getting diseases are great. Sorry, Frank, that's the way it goes. hold on. You're getting a filling today? Mm-hmm. What time? 5.30. Oh, my God. We better eat a lot before that. I know. He said to eat before it because my lower jaw is going to be numb. <gasps> I just realized I could probably give the best head because I can totally extend <laughs> my lower jaw. It's like really. I better hire. All right, I have today. my strap on. On. <laughs> do you have the one that you can fill with stuff? What do you mean fill with stuff? Like, there's aren't there some like strap on like dildos and strap ones that you can fill with like? You, you mean like fill, a vibrator? Well, no, like the ones that you can fill so that it shoots liquid. No, like, I don't. Like it I'm shoots not interested. honey. Or I don't want shoots, to shoot anything. Shoots ropes of cum. No, oh god. See I'm, college vixens first time. Frank, you're so disgusting. See broke straight kid have his first gay fuck. No, I don't have... You know what's disgusting? I've said this before. And Alex, I know that you know what I mean, because I know, like, straight men... Men in general watch... Dis- well, you watch disgusting porn, too. I yeah, shouldn't I do. be sexist it's about pornography. It's not just men. When someone... This is a man thing, though. Like, when they get... They literally, like, they'll pick someone up who's destitute and make them masturbate. Mm-hmm. But then you see, like, 
the fat ham hock of an arm reach into the frame and like touch the the person I've like seen that photographing many times. it. It's yeah. so disgusting. I, I, when when men do that with women, like in porn, it does not turn me on. Of course not. Because no. you know that it's, it's, you know, it breaks the fourth wall. Yeah. I, I Like it's a Shakespeare play. My strap on, I <laughs> basically, I just put candy bars all around it. <gasps> See, and I then, would love that. Yeah. And then while I'm, while I'm using it, I, I just eat Zagnut bars and stuff. Zagnut? Isn't well, that have no chocolate? It has chocolate. What's that fat word we know. love? Zoftig. Oh, yeah. I've been called Zoftig I've many been times. Called, I did a show the other day, and this Co- this comedian stand up has stand up is filled with people who are like I've been doing it for 25 years and you've never seen them before it's yeah, filled they're on with the road. people No not this one's not on the road oh. this one's on Long Island Oh okay who kept saying uh, stand next to me you'll uh, make me look thinner <laughs> Hey the two of us the two mm. fat Yeah and what? I wanted to say oh, seriously like when you get into your car it tilts to the left <laughs> so don't put me in the same world as you like you can't. Like every week he has a flat tire. She, and he's like, like you can't she? go on the oh great. Boy. You can't go on anything at Six Flags. Have you ever used a chin strap? Chin strap. You mean to like hold up my chin or to no. like a sex thing? Yeah, like it's a dildo that goes Have on your you chin. Have you seen that? I've used it's it. It's like a little harness that goes around the face, and the dildo Frank, comes out of the mouth. I've used them. Have you really? Yeah, years ago. You have to take a picture and put it on Instagram. I have to buy another one. Then I think I burned it. You wait. You mean literally? Wait. <laughs> Why would you have burned it? I mean, it was from 20 years ago. Wait a minute. Yeah. It literally, it's like a little baby harness for the it's face. It's not baby. But it, it, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, the harness for the, the face, harness yes. The harness for the face. And then the dick comes out of and your the, chin. Oh, it's it doesn't hot. come out of the mouth? No, you can do that and use the dick at the same time. It's hot. But like when everyone's done, you like walk around and it's bobbing up and down from your chin when you walk. Yeah, I mean, I, the, I felt a little weird at the diner when I went. I, after. Wa- I seriously want to wear that. I walked into the diner and I had just finished, but I was hungry and I forgot it was on. So I was like, hi, can I get a... a, 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 a I want to sing like the greatest hits of Barbra Streisand volume two yeah. wearing that in performance. I want to do the death prayer at the temple for the Jews <laughs> while I'm wearing it. I want to take pictures at my parents' grave with it on. This is, I am going to pay homage to Valerie Scott, who was your understudy when you were away, when you were having a facelift. Frank and Valerie, thanks for a great show. Of course I miss Jessica and hope she's all recovered from her gallbladderectomy and wish her all the best on crashing. Mm -hmm. Frank, you and Valerie were fabulous. I was an actor when I moved to New York City and found your conversation so funny and interesting. I didn't make it, obviously, because mostly because I had no ambition, was a drug addict, and hate theater people. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. You and Jessica are hardworking and extremely talented. I know you get the recognition and opportunities you deserve. Thank you, Stacy. That's from Stacy Peters. That's ve- are very sweet. Very sweet. Love it. And this one is from Cecilia Espinosa. Love letter from a hay fat piglet. <laughs> Dear Frank and Jessica, I love your podcast so freaking much. Oh, she's a lesbian. I recently re-listened to a couple of old episodes because I already heard all of the new ones, and they were just as awesome the second time around. Thank you. That's sweet. During my last semester at school, I had a really hard time with depression. It was a shit show. There were literally days when listening to Fat Pig. Oh, she keeps saying, hey, Fat Pig. That's cute. There were literally days when listening to Hey, Fat Pig was the only thing that made me feel kind of normal. And when I'm depressed, feeling normal becomes the equivalent of getting plowed real good and then (laughs) eating a whole pizza and a giant (laughs) bowl of cookie dough without feeling gross or getting fat. So thank you for that. (laughs) The fact that you two are so honest and that you two vibe off each other's silliness so well and that you two are actually friends and that you two have such beautiful souls makes for an incomparably magical podcast experience. Also, pigs are my second favorite animal. I think fans of the show should be called Hey Fat Piglets. Well, they are piglets. Hi, guys. I'm here. Well. What was that? That was, I just went to turn off my um Facebook, because something popped up and it was a video that I did. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sending much love and gratitude and good vibes your way, CC. That's a great email that she sent. That us. is so awesome. I said, "Oh, you're a lesbian," because it said, "I love your podcast so freaking much," and that just reminded me of Long Island, where all my friends were when I grew up. Freaking. Oh, she sounds pretty positive to be a lesbian. Yeah, she does. Yeah. She does. But if she calls herself CC instead of Cecilia. 
Mm, that's pretty straight. No, no. Now, if she called the, herself like Shoe, the fir- she would be a lesbian. <laughs> Catcher's mitt. <laughs> Oil change. Glove oil. I was going to say glove oh, oil. Isn't that funny? And you yes. said oil change. We're so connected. The first lesbian I knew was Cece Castellucci at Usdan. Really? Performing arts camp. Well, I don't know because we were 12, but I had a feeling. Oh, I get it. She was from the Bronx, though, and she was Italian. So that's the same thing. Yeah, it's the exa- same thing. So as totally. Seeming like a lesbian. Yeah. Let's wrap this up with this. Speaking of a rap. You want to get raps? No, I can't. Rap, 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 <gasps> rap. Do you like, I love chicken lettuce wraps. I love, if it's really fresh, I love a good tuna salad wrap with ripe summer tomatoes. Oh, I Frank, cannot look at a tomato in the winter. I have to tell winter. you something. I went to Jersey two days ago mm-hmm. to see my mom and Hal. Mm-hmm. My mom had Jersey tomatoes. There is Beautiful. nothing yeah. better than a Jersey tomato. And they're in season for about oh, seven days. Oh my God, Frank, uh, literally it's a piece of fruit. I'm not kidding. Mm. Like I cut it and put salt on it and it. Ate is it is considered a fruit, but that's it's the only time incredible. it is. incredible. Yeah. You cut it and put salt on it? Yeah. Yeah. It's we should go so get some. Good. They're so good. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. Okay, I saw the movie, it's called Patty Cakes, about a heavy set white girl that wants to be a rapper in Jersey. Yeah. I just had an idea when I said that. So good about a retarded rapper. Oh, no. She can go by RR. Fatty Cakes. <laughs> RR is better. RR. I'm an RR uh, uh, and the lactic thing. Give it to me and I'll buy my stuff a ring. I got a Plymouth Horizon and I drive it up the street from your feet. That's something to eat. <laughs> The orange juice is mine. It is fine. I like it because it's not flavored like lime. I'm not good at numbers, but I like to paint. I use my fingers. You ain't in my face. Not gonna run the amazing race. Because I'm retarded. Because I'm retarded. <laughs> Take it from me, Dr. Ka. My name is Rest and Relaxation. I'm here today. All I want to do is wear a beret. Hello? Knock down the shoe. Knock down the fire. I'm here because I'm fired. Hello? Hello? Does this microphone work? Hello? I think that's a perfect way to end. Love you guys. Write to us. Oh, my God. Wait, I have to say one thing. I have to be so bad. Hold on. This is very important. Frank and I are doing a live <laughs> oh my God. fat pig. This is very important. Alex will be there if you're in New York City. Yeah, but three out of the four people just turned it off because they got offended by RR. No, they didn't. Anyone who listens to this knows that we just do things to make people like P- tense. But we're not, yeah. PBNL. We are at the Fat Black Pussycat, which is the Comedy, Comedy Cellar. Comedy Cellar's Fat Black Pussycat, September 19th. September 19th at 8.30 p.m. We will Tuesday? be there live, yes. And we're doing a live Fat Pig recording. Get your tickets now. It's going to sell out. Live, because it's a, it's a small space, so not all six of you can fit. And we have special guests, which we're not announcing yet, because we don't know who they are. We have special ed classes for those of you that can't come. So it's at Comedy Cellars Live Black Pussycat Fat on September 19th. <laughs> www.comedyseller.com. I'm not kidding. It definitely will sell out very fast. It's at fast. 8.30 in the morning. No. It's at 8.30 at night. Yeah. You can bring snacks. No, you can't. But you can just smuggle them in and give them to us. Yeah, I'm serious. You'll get to meet us. We'll stick around after, say hi to you. It's, we're very excited about it. So thank you for purchasing tickets. Oh, God, Purchase I can't them now. wait to eat. Don't procrastinate about it. Get them now. Yeah, or else your gall butter be ripped out of your skull. At ComedyCellar.com. Priest in Alaska. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Just be careful. And uh, wear something to uh, the Comedy Cellar that's gorgeous. Wear something gold with a plunging neckline but tasteful. 